the very respected chief, Ferdinand and Abraba, to uh, take proceedings from this point. Chief, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Senator Lakao. Thank you very much. Our leaders, gentlemen of the press, good afternoon to all of you. This is a press statement by the River State Leaders Forum. We have followed with discomfort the recent events in our state that have culminated in the desecration and arson attack on the hallowed chamber of the River State House of Assembly. The removal of the leader of the Assembly, Horn Edison Ehie, his suspension along with three others, the, the counter actions of Horn Ehie and his trial group with his claim of the impeachment of the Speaker, Right Honorable Martin Samewule, the suspension of some members loyal to the Speaker, Samewule, with the elevation of one here he, he, to the position of speaker. We have also followed the public appearance and speech of the governor of River State at the government house and at the state assembly complex and his encounter with the police. We are aware of the various allegations that these unfortunate events are linked to the former governor former governor of the state and minister of the FCT, His Excellency Yen Song Wike. We have listened to the various insinuations of ethnic undertone, especially that Governor Fobra Isejo and is marked for impeachment to pave way for the continuation of an equerry governor. We met with our governor his Excellency Simla Efobra, and Honorable Minister, His Excellency Yen Song Wike, and wish to state as follows. That Yen Song Ezo Wike is the undisputed leader of the political family that produced Governor Sim Fobra. The three senators in the National Assembly, the 11 members of the House of Representatives National Assembly, all 32 members of the State House of Assembly, all 23 local government chairmen, and the entire councillors of the three, of the three 23 local government areas. That is Excellency Simla Efobra and all the above elected office holders in River State belong to the same political family and are bound by our philosophy to transform, build, develop and create the river state of our dreams in consonance with our new rivers vision policy, vision devoid of ethnicity, tribe, creed, and gender. That we are aware that there was a pre-existing problem between Honorable Ehe and the then majority leader of the House of Assembly and his colleagues that culminated in his removal. That to forestall Honorable Hayes' impending removal, the hallowed chamber of the assembly was burnt. And Governor, His Excellency Fobra, believed that Hon Hayes' removal was a precursor to his impeachment, which is not true. That the misrepresentation of the internal wranglings among the members prompted the governor's immediate intervention, making him characterize a purely legislative broil as an existential threat. This caused governor and his newly assembled supporters to give the actions of the assembly members an ethnic coloration and prompted use of visual extraction to rally behind the governor in the name of a jaw nationalism. The hasty reaction of the governor has now pitched His Excellency Sim Fobra and State Assembly members in an all out battle that has led to the activation of process of impeachment of the governor. 
that the governor neither sought the help, clarification, or intervention of His Excellency Yenson Wike or of the elders of the developments, nor did he discourage damaging lies to be peddled against His Excellency Yenson Wike. The His Excellency Yenson Wike has been viciously attacked by sections of the media and the public as the evil mastermind of a scheme or series of events he was neither involved in or privy to. That the false stories were peddled that His Excellency Yenson Wike demanded money from the governor in, an order, in order to discredit him before a gullible public, which is very sad. We confirm that allegations are wicked, unfair, satanic, that the governor, being aware of the lies and not debunking them, showed bad faith and ingratitude. That Governor Fobra is aware that His Excellency Yenson Wike invested heavily in the infrastructural development of River State. He was selfless and applied the funds of the state judiciously. He did not steal nor misappropriate Trevor State funds. To insinuate that today, or create the impression he was asking, was asking for money, is most unfortunate and regrettable. Know that his settlers in Yeson Wike has consistently fought for and defended the interest of River State at all times. At our visit to His Excellency Yenson Wike, elders assured him of a steadfast, complete, and undiluted loyalty. We apologized for the embarrassment caused him by the governor, yes, of His Excellency Sinfobra, and all others who played vicious roles in the unfortunate drama. We vehemently condemn the intrusion of some Asian leaders that some other states from some other states who so soon have forgotten that it was His Excellency Yenson Wike who insisted on producing a reverse governor of Asian extraction. Who insisted on producing a reverse governor of Asian extraction and paid a heavy political price in the process. His Excellency Yeson Wike has since facilitated the appointments of more Ijoh sons since he came to Abuja, including Honorable Boma Iyaye as Executive Director of Finance, NDDC, and Honorable Rufus Godwins as member Federal Civil Service Commission. He has done more for Ijoh sons and daughters and ethnic nationality than most of these leaders. In fact, His Excellency Yenson Wike's effort to make Sim Fobra governor was rejected and opposed largely by Jaws then than any other tribe or ethnic group. On the assembly, we confirm that Right Honorable Martin Samewole is the authentic speaker and, uh, and Honorable Ehe and company validly suspended. In conclusion, we shall once again <coughs> express our gratitude to His Excellency Yenson Wike for the audience and amiable disposition to continue work selflessly for our state and accepting the mediation of the elders. We urge the Governor, His Excellency Sim Fobra, to please take urgent steps to correct some of the false narratives against Yenson Wiki, those providing a window for mandatory, for mediatory talks and a way forward. We advise those encouraging the governor, Sim Fobra, to engage in a needless and fruitless battle with Yenson Wiki to desist forthwith and allow the governor concentrate on consolidating on the extraordinary achievements of Yeson Wike 
while he was governor. Our pact with rivers people is unbroken. They gave us the mandate in the last election on the back of our achievements under His, His Excellency Son Wege and must and trust that the candidate from our political party family will continue these good works. We caution those new friends of Governor Sim with a forum to retract their steps before they throw the state into deeper crisis. We, the elders, stand with Excellency Nason Wiki and to ensure that we work with him and all involved to bring peace to the state. Thank you very much.